to no divine director circle. The locus of a point from which two tangents to a circle are perpendicular is a circle called director circle. If the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared equal to a squared, its center is O00 and radius is A. Let PXY be any point on the director circle and PA, PB are two tangents, two tangents to the circle which are perpendicular to each other. Then O A P B is a square of side A. Therefore, OP is equal to A square root of 2. Hence, the locus of P is a concentric circle of radius A square root of 2. Therefore, the equation of the director circle is x square plus y square equal to A root 2 whole square or 2A square. Thus, for the circle, x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0, it will also be a concentric circle with center minus g minus f and radius square root of 2 times square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. Hence, its equation, that is the equation of director circle, will be x plus g whole square plus y plus f whole square equal to 2 into g square plus f square minus c, which simplifies to x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy minus f square minus g square plus 2c equal to 0. Next we define coaxial circles. A system of circles are called coaxial circles if every pair of its members have the same radical axis. If S equal to zero is any member of the system, which is a circle, and L equal to zero is the equation of the common radical axis. The system can be written as S plus lambda times L equal to zero, where lambda is a parameter. For different values of lambda, we get different members of the system. However, if two members of the system are given as S1 equal to zero and S2 equal to zero, then the radical axis of the system is S1 minus S2 equal to zero. So the equation of the system can be written as S1 plus lambda times S1 minus S2 equal to zero or S1 plus lambda times S2 equal to zero where lambda is not equal to minus one. Certain corollaries which follow directly from the definition the centers of the circles forming a coaxial system are collinear and lie on the right bisector of the common radical axis. If two, if we consider the line of centers as x-axis and the common radical axis as y-axis, then the equation of the coaxial system is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus c equal to 0, where c is a constant and g is a parameter. Because for any two different members of the equation, x squared plus y squared plus 2g1x plus c equal to 0 and x squared plus y squared plus 2g2x plus c equal to 0 g1 not equal to g2 
equation of radical axis is twice g1 minus g2 into x equal to 0 which represents x equal to 0 which is y axis. But the limiting points of a coaxial system, the limiting points of a coaxial system are the centers of those circles whose radii are 0. For the system x square plus y square plus 2gx plus c equal to 0, if it is the limiting point, then its radius is equal to 0. That is square root of g square minus c equal to 0. g is equal to plus minus square root of c. Hence, the limiting points of the coaxial system represented by x square plus y square plus 2gx plus c equal to 0 are plus minus square root of c, 